Are you looking for the best program to organize your digital pictures? Don't worry, lots of people are. There's so many options out there and I bet you're not even sure where to start. From the big tech giants like Apple and Google to other options out there, you probably don't even know what you need. Stick with me here in this video and I'm gonna give you the bare requirements you need in a photo organizing software. I'm also gonna run through the many options that are out there and tell you which ones might fit your needs versus someone else's. All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Molly Bartelt. I'm a photo estate planner at Pixology. We are your go-to experts in evaluating photo saving apps, software, and tools. If you are trying to figure out the situation with your pictures being in a lot of different places digitally, it's time to get them together. It, it's too easy to lose a photo. I, I have. and. Um, it's heartbreaking, so today's the day we're going to help you get on the path of finding one digital home for your photos, okay? If you like learning about options to save your photos, you definitely want to hit subscribe on our channel because we're uploading videos routinely now that give you ideas and thoughts about how you can better manage your family memories. Now, I am totally curious about what you're using right now for your photo organization. If it's nothing that's okay, put that in the comments. Or if you do have a program, put that in the comments too because you might know something that I don't. And I always love to learn from the people who I talk with. A little background, at Pixology, we've helped people organize millions of photos. The digital side of it is not easy. We've been accumulating you know, old computers and jump drives, external hard drives, camera cards, phones. You know, We're probably going on, me, I think I'm on my fifth or sixth or seventh phone that I've had in the last you know, 15 years. Pictures just kind of tend to get lost as time marches on. There's too many options too much automation where programs are taking your pictures and putting them somewhere and too little time on our part to figure it all out and i know some people just give up like how could we possibly ever catch up with it all well i'm here to help provide some motivation inspiration and get it done attitude because your memories are too precious to let go. So last week I received an email from a marketing company. They do market studies, broad studies, global studies about technology and this one was related to photo management software. I was very curious about this because I know digital photo organizing is such a challenge for consumers. So I looked through the list of companies that was on there and you can kind of see here, you probably won't recognize many of them. And I thought, well, this, this seems a little more um, technical. And as it turns out, the company produced this report for people who are professional photographers and you know, more high level photo um, management users, I guess you could say. This report I found not to be especially helpful for the people that I work with, but it made me think I better make a list of all the options you have out there. So that's why I'm doing the video today. Now, I, I do have two go-to programs that I absolutely love and you gotta stick with me. I'll tell you them at the end after I go through some of the more important stuff that you need to know. Okay, let's talk about the bare minimum requirements of a photo management software, a photo organizing software. First of all, you need to be able to organize your pictures in folders or albums. Some programs, you can have both folders and albums, all right? Organizing by folders and albums is very important. So let's back up one step and let me explain. Your digital pictures are files, all right? 
one digital picture is one file, and if you have 10 digital pictures, you have 10 files. All right, you gotta remember that. So 10 files. Files are stored in folders, all right? So folders hold files. You probably are quite familiar with folders on your computer. On a PC, it's in your Windows Explorer, and on a Mac, it's in your Finder, all right? So you have lots of folders. Now, albums usually are something that a photo management software has as an additional way for people to sort their pictures, all right? So we've talked about files, and we've talked about folders and albums, all right? Most of the software out there is going to have the ability to work with files and albums. The second thing that your photo management software is gonna have is the ability to work with the metadata of your digital picture, all right? The metadata is the digital information that's attached to your photo, your file, right? It tells the date the picture was taken, it can have tags, it can have location, it can have a description, there's a lot of information that your digital picture has that you probably didn't even know. The metadata is important that you be able to view it and edit it, okay? Editing it allows you to change the dates of pictures. Very important, especially if you're scanning old photos or if you had a camera with the wrong camera date on it. That can happen when the battery dies in your camera. So um, being able to change the metadata is really important. I will tell you that there are programs that make this very easy, and there are programs that it's a lot harder, okay? So, but the most important thing is to remember, you need to be able to edit the metadata. The third important component of a photo management software is the backup, all right? How does the backup happen? We teach that you need to have a backup in your house and outside of your house. So it could be an external hard drive backup. It could be a cloud-based backup. You can see how you'd have your in-the-house copy and your outside-of-the-house copy. If you rely only on an in-house copy, if your house burns down, you may lose your original pictures, your computer, and the external hard drive. If you only have a cloud-based copy, if you don't have access to the internet and you don't have electricity, you may not have ability to see the pictures you've backed up in the cloud. All right, so we have to kind of remember that two backups is really important. Now, I didn't talk about being able to edit the pictures, but most photo organizing programs allow you to edit pictures. And honestly, I wish people would spend way more time organizing their photos than editing them, okay? Uh, sometimes I see people just work on editing the pictures on their phone, but they've given no thought as to how it will be available to them 10 years from now, that picture. So editing is a lesser concern for me, but most photo management softwares do allow you to take red eye out and crop and those sorts of things. So you also want your photo management software to allow you to share your pictures in some way. All right, that's pretty important. Now, some software um, it does facial recognition and object recognition. Those are pretty cool. Um, I don't consider those essential, but they are. They do make organizing and looking for pictures easier. Like, like I can type in sunsets in my Apple Photos program, and all my sunset pictures will come up. It's pretty cool. The other thing that you want your photo management software to potentially be able to do is to recognize duplicates and even search and find duplicates and help you eliminate them. So I would say if we had to look at the most important, it's the folder structure or albums structure, then being able to edit metadata, 
and being sure that we back up our pictures. Those are my first three important things that you're, you've got to really watch for. Now, with all of that being said, the most important thing I can tell you about working with your digital pictures and, and your new program that you choose is you've got to do it consistently. I mean, I think every week, at the minimum, once a month, organize your photos and get rid of the pictures you don't need and make sure you're saving the ones that are really special to you. Now we're gonna go into the list of 20 programs that people can use for managing their photos. And I've got them kind of grouped in categories and I'm just gonna give a screenshot of them at this point. If you want to know more, I'll have links down below where you can learn more about each of these programs, okay? So we have like the big two, possibly three, I'm calling them the big tech photo management software. Apple Photos, everybody who has an iPhone is using Apple Photos. If they have a Mac, working with their pictures is easier because Photos is on their Mac. For Android users, you are using Google Photos, and that's a giant as well. The third one, Amazon Photos, I've been hearing more about this, and I'm putting it on here. I haven't had any clients who really used it consistently, but it's part of the big three, okay? The big three and the big tech. I could be missing one, and let me know if I am, okay? All right, the next category is the easy apps. Forever is easy. Even though I say forever is easy, I do recommend you work on your pictures in forever at least once a week, if not monthly. Memorable is a new one that's just launched this year. They've been working on it for a long time, and I'm curious to learn more about it. Another program is called Memory Web, and it was designed more with the family historian in mind, and I found it to be pretty simple at first glance. Then we have the highly technical apps. This is Adobe Lightroom, Adobe Bridge, ACD Systems is another one. They have a whole suite of photo products that look pretty technical to me. I don't think these are going to be up your alley if you're a beginner trying to figure out organizing your pictures. This next category I call looks promising. And then I have a big if. If you are willing to put in the time monthly and potentially weekly to work with your pictures and get them under control and and changing the metadata and adding descriptions and, and all of that. These programs might be up your alley, okay? So looks promising if you're gonna use it routinely. And there's quite a few in this list, okay? So we have Magic's Photo Manager Deluxe, Photo Mechanic, Photo Bucket, Milio and SysTweak, all right? I will do a review on these programs in the near future, okay? Because I think they do look promising. If you've had experience with them already, leave a comment below because I would love to hear what you think. Then there is a group of photo management software companies that I feel relate more to the hobbyist or professional photographer. They're kind of like photography communities. These solutions include Flickr, 500px, I think that's how you say it, and SmugMug. They're designed, you know, to have beautiful galleries of photos and those galleries may be open to a community to look at and share and potentially purchase pictures. And I'm not sure that this is a solution for the general consumer like me who just wants to preserve their family photos and add the, the stories behind them, all right? Then we have what I call the old tech programs. You remember I mentioned Memory Manager? Forever owns that technology now and it's called Forever Historian. I think it's great, but it's 
it's older and maybe they'll be eventually updating it. Then we have Fast Stone Capture and of course Picasa. I'm betting a lot of you remember using Picasa. I come across that pretty often. Picasso was bought out by Google and Google ended it for launching their Photos app. And, and a lot of people are pretty sad about that. So I do have two favorites in there, but you gotta stick with me a little bit longer, okay? In my world of photo estate planning, the program that you choose matters less than how often you work with it, all right? Think about how many times you started organizing digital pictures somewhere and, and you stopped. You could potentially be making yourself a worse mess if you start and stop every six months. So pick one and start. I don't know how to stress this strongly enough. Today's a day, get your digital pictures in a program and use it consistently. All right, so here's my go-to apps. Now, I'm an iPhone user and I have a Mac, so Apple Photos is something I use every day. I don't like it <laughs> because there are better programs that display my pictures prettier, and my husband hates that. I like pretty things, but I want my pictures to look great. And the Photos app, it's not as much fun to look at them as in MyLeo. MyLeo works on both a PC and a Mac, and I love it. The interface is beautiful. And the calendar mode is amazing. It organizes them by date without you having to do a thing. MyLeo is an advanced program. Like you have to use it weekly for sure to remember, you know, what you were doing and how you're organizing things. I love it. My second go-to solution is Forever. It's a web-based photo organizing solution and it's great. The it's simple to use. They use an album structure. They have tags and you can edit the dates of pictures. It's great. They also guarantee to migrate your pictures to the newest technology for your lifetime plus a hundred years. That's awesome. The one thing I'll mention is, is it is web-based. So if you don't have access to internet, you will not be able to view your pictures. So that's why we remember we have the copy in our home. All right, so my go-tos are MyLeo and Forever. And I will tell you that Pixology is a Forever ambassador. So we've got a link below if you wanna try out Forever. It's two gigabyte free account. And if you should choose to purchase something from Forever, we may receive a commission. So that was a lot to go over. I hope you've got a good idea of what you need in a photo organizing program and you've got a whole list of potential softwares that you could check out. Your digital pictures are your story, your life, your moments. I mean, if I didn't look back at the moments that are caught on my camera, I wouldn't remember half of what I've done. And I invite you to dive in and enjoy your pictures. Find a program that you like and it will make more sense as you get into the routine of being with them, working with them every week or month. So what do you think? Which program stood out to you? Definitely leave a comment below, I'd love to know. And subscribe if you wanna see reviews of some of these pieces of software in the future. I'm definitely gonna be diving deeper in them. I hope that you've got some motivation and inspiration to move forward on saving your digital pictures. It's time to get a handle on them before you have too many more, okay? And before time and technology and disaster steal your memories away. Save your pictures now. You won't believe how many things are in there that are gonna remind you of happy, fun moments, and it's, it's just great. Thank you so much for joining. If you liked this overview, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because we have got so much more to share about photo saving apps and software. See you the next time.